Hi, my name is Nicole Giva, and this is my car UX UI for a partially autonomous vehicle. So when you open up the screen, it's going to start out with the car logo, and the screens will turn on. So in the back here, this square shape is going to be a full touch screen, while these circular shapes in the front are knobs with touch screens in the middle. So this is Jackie's car. She also has a profile for her husband, Isaac and she can create new profiles for guests if she would like, but she's gonna be driving her own car today. So she's gonna enter into her profile. The main screen that pops up is sort of a car overview and autopilot control page. So as you can see here, it's showing her miles per hour, the car autopilot, steering assist, lane mitigation, and history of the trip. The other tabs are going to be the map tab where she can enter in her destination. It shows where she currently is as well. Then in the music tab, there are different options. She currently has in here Spotify, Apple Music, AM, FM, radio, and podcasts. There are many more options she could enter in if she would like, but these are the four that she really uses. Then in the messaging tab, she is able to do messages, phone calls, and see her entire contact list. The next tab is going to be the apps tab. So in this tab, she has media, social media, and productivity. In this tab, you can have a limitless amount of categories, so you can really hold a bulk of apps within this section. The last is settings, where it has just specific settings for each of these categories. You can change colors and such, but back to the main page, we're going to get into the main UI. First thing Jackie wants to do is making sure her autopilot is on. So it's the large button here, which she can turn off, and she wants to make sure that it is on for her drive. Then she's going to head into the Maps tab and enter in her home address because she's just heading home from work today. And so as you can see, she's only 12 minutes away. The car is on the path already. She doesn't need to do anything else because the car is going to take her home. So now that she has some free time, she's going to get a few things done. Heading back over to the Messages tab, she realized earlier that she has a message from her husband, Isaac. Earlier, they were talking about the presentation she was doing at work, and he's just wondering now if she's going to be home soon. So rather than sending a message, she's actually going to send a photo. So clicking on the camera here will take you to the camera view from the car. So instead of just having a recorded view, you can actually take screenshots from here and send them through your messages. So she's going to take a screenshot and then it automatically attaches to the message. And so he's gonna recognize that she's not that far away and she's on her way home from work. So she wants to get nice and cozy on her way home. So she's actually gonna turn up the heater here, turn the knob to 77. Just going to make sure that the fan is on, that the vents are open, and I think she's also going to turn on the heated seat because she's extra chilly. And so she really wants to just get comfortable on her drive home because her car is taking her home and she doesn't need to worry about it. She's going to check out Netflix and see what's going on. So she's going to open her Netflix tab. It's going to appear into full screen mode and she can relax on her drive home. Thank you all for watching my presentation, and this is my final car UI.